20 years ago, the Dead River started to rise. Local 3's Audrey Pentecost has more on the Dead River floods. In the year 2003, on May 14th through the 16th, the Dead River flooded. The flood started with a breach in the fuse plug at the Silver Lake Basin on May 14th. The water levels were high because of snow melting that took place the month before and rain that fell a few days before. We had a significant snow melt during the month of April. Generally three to six inches of water still existed in the snow at the midpoint in that April. And then we had a very wet rainy system during the early part of May from May 9th to, to May 12th of 2003. So in that there was an additional three to six inches of rain that fell across the Dead River Basin and thus it led to or it was one of the contributing factors that led to the Dead River flood when the, uh, the fuse plug um, gave way at the Silver Lake Dam or near the Silver Lake Dam and sent nearly nine billion gallons of water downstream towards the, uh, the city of Marquette. Four to five feet of water flowed over the tops of several dams in the Dead River. When the floods reached dangerous levels, an evacuation order took place on May 15th for residents living north of Wright Street in Marquette Township and the city of Marquette. So I was in high school uh, at the time and we lived on the Dead River uh, just on the Tourist Park Basin here in town. Uh, and so when the evacuation order became mandatory, we were not allowed to go home. I had gone to school that morning and then uh, partway through the school day the announcement came out, if you live north of Wright Street you can't go home. Uh, you need to call your parents and figure out where you're going. Um, and so I ended up staying with friends uh, and my parents stayed with other family friends. Uh, but I know some of the students ended up sleeping at one of the elementary schools. Over 2,000 residents were evacuated at the time. The dams have been repaired since. Reporting in Marquette, Audrey Pentecost, Local 3 News.